Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are gonna be doing another full set. I will be using Nao Nails Perfect Blush, Nao Nails Crystal Clear Acrylic. I will be using Glam and Glitz Deep Blue. And I will be using Glam and Glitz Satin, which is this very vibrant green. The glitters I'm using are Temptress from Nail Sugar. This is part of the Enchanted Forest collection. I love this colour. And also Looking Glass. This one completely blew my mind. I mean, it looks pretty nice in the pot, but when you put it on the nail, it looks amazing over a see-through nail. So to start the set, I'm gonna create a smile line on the middle finger by creating a reverse smile line. Hang on, did that make sense? I'm doing a reverse smile line on the middle finger. <laughs> so don't worry too much if you're not that happy with the shape of your smile line because once the acrylic has set, you can always go around it and just neaten it up. It's not a problem. So I'm putting on that cuticle bead. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put another bead on just to raise that smile line a little bit more because I will only then need to cap the free edge and not the, the nail bed. So when I come to file, Hang on. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I hope someone does. <laughs> oh dear. With the thumb, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of Nao's Perfect Blush at the cuticle area and just blend it down just to cover up the, the false looking nail underneath the finger. Even though it's pretty good as far as realistic hands go. <laughs> Actually, I'm using a flexi hand. For those of you who are new to my channel, I love the flexi hand. They're available from nailcessities.co.uk if you're in the UK. If you're anywhere else in the world, um, you will get them from Flexi Finger Australia. I'll leave the link to the website in the description box below. Um, they are very affordable and they're bloody amazing. I love them. So for the ring finger, sorry, going back to the nails, um, I've put the satin acrylic at the cuticle area and I'm just going to blend it down because on this nail we're going to create an ombre. Now these colours, the Glamour Glitz colours, you work with wet so it makes the colours quite sheer looking. So sometimes you do have to go on with uh, another bead or two just to deepen up that colour. Deepen up. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Harry? That was, oh, who's that guy, that boxer? Frank Bruno. You know what I mean, Harry? Was that Frank Bruno? I don't know, oh shush. <laughs> so these Glamour Glitz colors, as long as you pick the right colors, they blend really nicely. So we've got our green blue ombre. And on the, what's that one? The pointy finger, index finger. I'm just gonna do a full nail of the deep blue acrylic I'm sorry if you can hear noises there's noisy people outside I don't know what's going on I wish they'd stop though hmm <sighs> Pinky is going to be a complete nail of the satin acrylic, so it's going to be a green nail. So 
So you can see I've just added beads to build up that colour. Oh, that was a bit. Where did that come from? <laughs> Quick, get rid of that. <laughs> I live right next to a park, so quite often you hear lots of people walking past with their dogs and they're chatting away and the dogs are barking and oh, I don't know not that it's a problem but sometimes when you want to dub your video you don't want lots of noise so I'm going around the smile line with the hand file just to refine that shape how dare people walk their dogs outside my flat <laughs> God, what do I sound like? All right, plonker. I didn't mean it like that. God. So now um, I'm taking a bead of clear. The first bead I took was way too big, so I just took it off. Um, you only need like a small wet bead. Um, I dip that into the glitter and I'm just gonna spread the glitter from the free edge up the side walls, like up the edge of that small line. You can make it as compact or as sparse as you like. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty once it's all finished. So I just put a little bit of acrylic over the top just to keep it all in place when I come to cap the nail. while I move on. So I'm going to put Temptress now. No we're not. Yes we are. So the thumb I wanted to do like a full glitter nail. Um, I started with Temptress at the cuticle area. My cuticle area was way too bulky on this nail. Um, you probably wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't have said anything but it was um, the uh, the glitter now is looking glass, so I'm kind of doing a temptress to glitter to oh, a temptress to looking glass to nothing. So I kind of wanted you to be able to see some of that see through the end of the thumb. I can't get my words out today. I'm putting temptress on the free edge of the pinky, and I'm just doing a like a little glitter fade. And on the index finger, I'm putting Temptress at the cuticle area and I'm doing a glitter fade towards the free edge. But you can't see because I'm out of shot again. As always, I do it a lot. I don't mean to. I was getting better at it. And I don't know what happened yesterday. But yeah, so um, that's it. That's the set ready to be capped. So I'm going to cap it with clear... I filed and buffed it and then I'm now taking some pure acetone on a lint-free wipe and I'm just wiping over the nails just to clean them up a little bit get rid of the dust and to really smooth out the surface and we are ready right but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do first this finger here the mm, ring finger I was gonna say middle finger I'm gonna use some mermaid dust from now sugar this stuff looks amazing over greeny blue nails. So as we've got like an ombre, I thought I'd give it a go because I don't think I've used this in any videos yet. But it looks really nice. So I thought we'd give this ring finger a little bit of a shimmer. because Not a shimmer. A little bit of a... I don't know what the word is. But the other nails have got glitter on and this one hasn't. So we're going to put the mermaid dust pigment on this nail and some crystals. So... I'm going to eat a little bit of a bit. I'm putting some top coat on. I've cured it for 40 seconds. It usually cures for 60, but I like to slightly under cure it if I'm putting pigment on. And I'm using my finger just to blend that mermaid powder in. And you can see we've got this ye yellow, this green sheen. Yeah, a green sheen, not a shimmer. And it just, I just love it. It's nice. And I'm going to use these crystals. These are from Nail Sugar as well. These ones were from Nail Sugar, but these were from their mixed crystals, but I just put all the greens in a pot. I put like reds, oranges, and yellows in a pot. I put, 
I just like to keep the colours sort of similar together. Um, and I'm using the Chiara Sky base to adhere the crystals. And I've got my mega expensive wax pencil from AliExpress. <laughs> I love it though, it does the job. So I'm going to put some Chiara Sky base where I want the crystals. And I'm just going to add the crystals. So I just thought I'd do like a little cluster. I am going to top coat the nail again to go over to seal in that pigment, which I haven't done yet, but I wanted to put the crystals on first. I don't know why I zoomed back out because you can't see very well now. So I did put more Chiara Sky base on as I went. I just sort of edited it, edited it out the video just to, you know, make it not such a long video. Um, so I'm now going to top coat, which is the best bit. To this nail, I needn't have really put that pink down. I'm going to just top coat underneath the nail as well on the ones that I've got clear tips that you know that I want to be able to see through a little bit. It just sort of makes it a little bit more clear. How pretty is Temptress? This is my favourite nail. I'm sitting here with a big smile on my face like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> I don't know why. A bit of fluff on the end. And again, I'm just going to go underneath. Look at it shine. Oh. I, I, I didn't really show you this one after I top coated it, which was a bit annoying. But you'll see it in a minute because I'm just going to go over the nails. Um, I'm gonna video that uh, <laughs> you can see the sheen on it. Oh, it's really pretty. Oh dear. So I'm gonna cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then these are the nails finished. Here we are, look, this you'll be able to see them better now. So look at the sheen on that one. Oh, it's beautiful. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you lovely lot in the next one. Bye.